splines are strips of plywood, or OSB, that are supplied in a bundle and are used to join the individual panels together to create a continuous surface. The spline is inserted into the channel, cut for it by the factory. Most installers find it easiest to put up two or three panels, then go back and slide the vertical splines down into the slot from above. Make sure the slot is completely filled. The splines can be screwed or nailed with a nail gun to finish. Sometimes, it's helpful to screw one edge of the spline into place in the panel while it's still on the ground, pulling it up flat to the backside of the panel OSB. This aligns things so that the next panel slides right over the spline without jamming. Other times, it's best to leave the spline loose and jiggle it into place. Also, running a power plane or circular saw down the length of the spline on a 45 degree angle, beveling just the corner of the spline, helps the spline to slide into the next panel. At windows and doors, make sure the spline is down to the bottom of the foam route, not the edge of the OSB opening, or it'll be in the way of the 2 by you'll insert later. Note how in this photo, the vertical spline is pushed all the way into the foam groove to leave room for the horizontal spline to cross above it. Note the edge is beveled for easier joining with the abutting panels. If there's a horizontal seam at the top of the panel, make sure that the vertical spline is below the bottom of the horizontal groove. In some cases, the splines are not accessible after the panel is installed. On the gable ends, the wall panels are usually stacked on top of the other. In that case, the spline must be attached ahead of time. You don't have to nail or screw the splines right away. Most installers find it faster and more productive to leave that part until a section is complete or even until after all the panels are installed. This way, if you need to make an adjustment or fix a mistake, the panel screws are easily backed out and the adjustment can be made. It's better to make sure everything is just right than go around and button up the panels with a nail gun or a screw gun. It's much harder to fix something after the splines are nailed off. <laughs>